So this experiment will investigate the effects of sampling rate and resolution on, on audio fidelity. We're sampling music at uh, 44 kilohertz and with a 16-bit resolution. And this program lets us downsample and degrade the resolution of the signal to whatever we want and replay the sound so you can hear what the difference is. So if I start playing a song, So currently this is the full fidelity of the music. I'm I'm not downsampling, I'm not degrading the resolution at all. But we can see the effects if I decrease the sampling rate to 22 kilohertz. You can't really hear much difference. You can hear a little bit on the very high frequencies because I'm not able to totally capture all of the frequency content of the music. If I cut that in half again, you can start to hear what happens when the signal is be becoming aliased. The higher frequency content of the signal is being aliased now. And you can keep going lower and lower. So this is at a sampling rate of about 5,000 hertz. It starts to really crush the higher frequencies. Um, and you can obviously go lower and lower and lower. So if we wait for some vocals to come back in the music here. So if I go below, you know, the average frequency of his vocals, you can't really hear what he's saying much if I'm down here at, at 2600 or 2600 hertz, you cannot really discern what he's saying because none of those frequencies are being kept. So that demonstrates how the, the sampling frequency affects what the music sounds like. And then separately here, we can um, degrade the resolution. So right now I'm doing 16 bits. I've moved the sampling frequency back up to 44K. If I cut the resolution down in half to 8-bit resolution, it sounds almost exactly the same. Um, so you really wouldn't be able to discern the difference between 8-bit and 16-bit unless you're listening to really, really high-quality music from a CD, for instance. If I cut that down to... Seven, don't really hear much. But once you start to go a little bit lower than that, say like five, you're starting to basically introduce noise into the signal and you can start to hear it. It just sounds like almost white noise in the background, especially at four bits. But it's still very impressive that at two bit resolution, so it's basically splitting up the amplitude of the signal into four separate bins you can still pretty much make out what the music sounds like. It just sounds a little noisy, but it still sounds, you know, you can still discern what the sounds are, you can hear his voice, and you can even go a little bit lower, and it sounds really crunchy, but... But that demonstrates how the uh, resolution changes what the sound sounds like.